Yeah, third. <clears throat> That's crazy. <laughs> what is it? Two, one. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Tommy B, Bars Battle Rap League CEO. We back with another fucking face off. Real excited about these two. They're gonna slug it out this Saturday. Only two days Look until the glass ceilings event. I'm gonna shout out to my co-host below me. Tell them what up. What it is, y'all, is conflict, flicks McMahon, aka <laughs> Pulp Fliction. Shout out bars back league, take off back league. We got a fucking crazy ass fucking face off for you tonight. We got just Kyle and we got Smith. good. Say what up. Say Yo, what's up? What's up, everybody? Yo, it's Spiff. What's going on? So, Yo, I'm gonna ask Kyle, you. No, Kyle sorry, yeah, sorry, the sorry, controller. bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one with the PlayStation Pro controller. So, Spiff, man, no disrespect at all, because I'm not that type of human being. But why? What morning did you wake up and you were like, "I'm gonna call myself Spiff"? Like, where did that come from? It comes from an old comic I used to read, Calvin and Hobbes. One of no Calvin's alter egos was a spaceman spiff. Okay. And in my in my searching for a name to use for these battle raps, that's what I landed on. No doubt. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thanks for clearing that up for me. There will be no Calvin and Hobbes bars. <laughs> but I just I just I just wanted to know. Well, you, so. got, you got two days. If you make it work, that would be fire though. <laughs> all right all right i gotta brush I'll up with my calvin and Bob. tiger so uh, yeah, that's yeah. The tiger these two these two are fairly new to me i watched some of the battles and i am i absolutely blown away these guys they don't have the same style but they both are very good punchers and are very funny dudes um which will lead into my next question what do you guys think about each other when it comes to your weaknesses. What do you think you're going to expose to them to get the W this Saturday? We'll start. We'll uh, start with Spiff. We'll start with start with Spiff. Start with Spiff. Um, I mean, I don't really know Kyle like that, um, but I'm definitely coming. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got a few angles that that I can go with, uh, but without giving too much away. It's just gonna be kind of uh, focusing on the on the punchlines and the bars more so than coming at any kind of personal angle because I don't really know Kyle. All I know about him is that he's a chef. Right? Yeah. There's so much you can do with that. Okay, okay. Mr. Madden down there, just Kyle. What what you got to say about that? Uh, I'm kind of on the same page as uh, Stiff man. I don't know nothing nothing about him. You know. Uh, I do feel like, yo, you had a battle like an, on an Art of War years ago, right? That was like your first battle. Is that correct? Yeah, I battled Ryan via four in my first battle. Ryan that was your VF4. first battle? Yeah. Okay, okay no good, doubt. That's a good and look then, for your first battle. Huh? That's a good look for your first battle. Yeah, yeah him, he's an entertaining dude. So I would have to say... As far as your weaknesses go, bro, I don't really, I don't know you well enough to pick any out. But from what I did see against you versus Philly off the short prep you did, that's honestly why I took the battle. Because out of all the people that Khan presented to me, you were the more talented writer. And that's, those are the kind of people I want to battle that I know aren't just going to be like, yo, your mama sucks dick for zebra cakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just like Mike Swift. Uh, yeah, facts, bro. Facts. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say shots about fi- that. Shots fired. Shots fired. Um, I was what definitely you got? impressed with Kyle from that battle because I remember seeing Kyle when I would go to Art of War events, like against. I think I was at the AC event. I don't know if I was there when you battled AC, but I was a lot more impressed with your battle against Spliff than I was like back then. No doubt. I appreciate that. You know, actually, and we got, we got similar circumstances coming back into the coming into this battle because I haven't battled since 2017, and I don't think you've battled in a while either until that battle. Yeah, my last battle was summer of 2019. I think. Yeah, that, that had to be right because we went on the lockdown or whatever stupid shit. So, yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But 
it'll be good. I'm excited to see what you have to say, man, because your uh, your Likewise. skills were there. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a good battle. Conflicts, what you got for these boys? Gentlemen's battle. You know, it, <laughs> it's gonna turn into a compliment kind of, battle. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you got you guys are you guys are too friendly, man. Uh, <laughs> yo, listen, you don't have to hate each other, bro. That's no. a that's a battle rap no. stigma that I really don't agree with. You know what I mean? No, no, no. no, no. It's, not, it's not hate, man. It's not about hate. He thinks um, everything's a game, like that Madden. That's corny. Like that? Is that better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that better? It's much better. That better, yeah. <laughs> Yo, your beard is weird, son. Your beard is weird. That's just fire. Beard. Yeah, your beard. Yeah, like beard. beard. Um, you know, it's actually kind of funny, man. He just battled somebody named Spliff. Now he's battling somebody named Spiff. Spiff, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say that. Minus the L. That's a bar. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, was talking to, I was talking to Turnbull when he was like getting trying to convince me to get on the card and shit. He was like, Yeah, Kyle Abada, you just gotta change your whole rap name. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, got, you have to do that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's right. You yeah, are Turnbull's boy. I noticed that in the video. I saw him behind you. So yeah, how, what's your relations with, with Turnbull? How long have you known that dude? He's I'm on the known- card too. Yeah, he's battled in bars before, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've known Turnbull since, like, 2016, 17, something like that. Now, it had to have been 16. But, yeah, I've known that cat for a while. Yo, he's he's got wild energy. Um, the first time I've seen him battle, he's battling actually on a, a gold mic online league. And he was battling Contacts, which is the main event now. And he basically just got on a guitar and just sung a song about how much fucking Contacts is a faggot. And, it, it, yo, he's very entertaining, man. Um, I told Turn, him not to, Turnbull I told, did that? I, yeah. I told him not to do all that. I told him he was, I told him he was doing too much. But that, that's what's great about him. He's always trying to innovate. You know what I mean? He's always trying to come up with something that nobody's done before. And I appreciate that about him. No, definitely. Now we got to get into some questions, man, uh, because we we, we, we trailed off a little bit. As far as both of you, us, actually, Kyle, you just, uh, you had a couple of recent battles. I don't think Spiff yeah. is back in a while. Um, mm-hmm. The only battle, actually, that I can see on record from him is against Philly the Genius on a uh, three to, three-day prep, I believe it was. And he did fucking phenomenal on three days. Um, yeah. What do you do? You think that you have more to offer on? Because you, I think now you've had what two months prep, right, Biff? About that, yeah. Do you think that you're more prepared this time than you were last? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, the only three round battle I've done was against Ryan, and the footage got lost, unfortunately. But there's something that's a little bit easier about three rounds, three round battles as far as getting prepared you know, in my brain, breaking it down different versus one round battles. And I'm definitely feeling a lot more confident than I was going into any previous battle. Any, any feelings of rust? Yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily know what will hit or not, but part of my process is not to necessarily worry about that and just write shit that I think fire. And if the crowd gets it or not, then that's kind of on them. Have you been staying current on battle rap, watching anything, kind of, you know what I mean, seeing Honestly, how the game plays? Not really. Um, like, I watch, like, the big events, the big cards. Besides, I don't watch the Cassidy battles. I don't like the Cassidy battles. But, like, I watch Ruin Your Day shit, like, on YouTube. Like, like, battles. <laughs> like, the Ruin Your Day channel with uh, Avocado and shit where they break down battles. Like, I watch those. But as far as keeping up with it. I don't necessarily have the patience to watch like an hour and a half of a battle anymore. Yeah, no, neither do I, man, to be honest with you. But you without giving lot. anything away with your rounds, um, I've noted I watched uh, the Just Kyle battle um, versus Spliff, and um, I noticed your second round, you really talked to his soul. You really, like, you kind of broke him down. Is that um, something that you're used to doing as a battle rapper? And knowing that you don't know much about Spiff, is that some lane you're not going to take in this battle or is it going to be strictly bars? 
uh, to be honest, I'm not I'm not taking that lane at all because uh, I don't know him. You know what I'm saying? Me and Mike Spliff have previous relationships just through the battle circuit and whatnot. I've kicked it with him at his house before and whatnot. So I knew him more on a personal level, and uh, I just knew knew what to attack. I don't do that often. It's usually not my thing to go with personals, but to get into the punchline that I needed, it was a necessary setup. But with Spiff, man, I just got bars, man. Like, we're, it's, it's uncanny. We're almost like the same person, you know, mentally. Cause like, I don't give a fuck if the crowd catches my shit. You know what I'm saying? If they do, then awesome. But I do it for me and to elevate my craft. You know what I'm saying? I don't really cater to the, the ear that is present or not of the crowd. So I think it'll be a fun one, man. Cause we're both like there to write and prove to ourselves we can do it rather than what the fuck does Joe Schmo want to hear, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely, you guys are going to be pushing your pens, which is sometimes you need that in a battle, too. Like, you know, you it, it takes like a whole different aspect, like almost you like use a whole different you know side of your brain where you're like, yo, you got to come differently this time, which is going to be Facts. which is which is going to be good. Um, because like I said before at the beginning, like you guys don't have the same style, but when it comes to like punches and like jokes and like wordplay and stuff like that, you guys are really good at that. And it's going to be not like a mirror match, but you guys are going to are kind of similar, which is actually a really dope aspect because on a card, we don't have much of that. We have, we have, uh, you know, uh, flip and chaotic that are at each other's throat. We have fucking, uh, Bobby T and Scully who are at each other's throat, uh, fucking, um, Fidel and Gator, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. Me Gator is fucking all over that man, bro. He is not even giving him a breath of air. So, yeah, but I think I think that that kind of that kind of uh take on a battle, like that aggression, that that uh per se shit talk, you know, all that to me is like it's just like let me see what your your pen can do. Like, you know, no disrespect, but like shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, you're doing all this talking, yada, 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 which is great. But, like, yo, if you don't come and bring some shit that, like, nobody's heard before or that's going to, like, catch people's attention, like, you're just wasting your own time. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. and it's definitely part of the uh, the promo and the hype and, the you know, the, the part of the performance of the battle rap. But it's not really my style to do all that personally. I've always been kind of laid back. Like, I'll let my rounds do the talking for me. Type of shit. Yeah, yeah. And that shit's got to happen organically, man. You can't just force it to happen. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, you can't just make somebody hate somebody, you know, especially if you like someone. You, it would be wild can't... goofy for me. I would feel wild goofy to get in, like, the, the group chat or, like, on Facebook talking all this shit. Like, I, it's, just, it's just not me to do all that. Facts. And I think I, now that having this conversation, bro, I'm the same as him, man. That's like good for y'all to like pick this battle. You know what I mean? Because it's like we were similar. You know what I mean? Dude, I had league owners be like, yo, uh, man, go on the Facebook group and talk some shit. You know, the battles in three days. I'd be like, bro, for what? 46 views? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's the thing. Me and Calm, we just, we just let you guys do what you do. Like, bring bring your talent and do what you do. You know what I mean? And, and that's something, like, as a league owner, too. Like, there is, like, you know, you got to sell the fight to a certain point. But it doesn't have to be all that extra shit. Like, right now, we're selling the fight. We're just doing it in a different way. You know what I mean? We're doing it as – I'd rather have you guys have more of a spotlight than, you know, just talking shit. You know what I mean? getting to know you guys especially which is important because you guys are stepping into a new league a lot of new eyes are going to be on you you know what i mean it's not art of war it's not uh bare arms it's it's bars battle rap league like it's and we're a new league in itself so um that what, there's a question for you what what's it like coming to a new league like what, what's your preparation for that is that going to affect your performance at all like i mean for me personally like i said i've been away for so long and the preparation is kind of all new to me all over again. So to me, it doesn't really affect anything. Yeah. But I'm glad to be on the card, you know, the the ceremonial, not ceremonial, whatever, the first card. That's yeah, the yeah, first. Yeah. You, know, you know, I'm glad to be on it. Because it's, it's I'll take, I've, I've known Just Kyle has been fire for a minute, right? Because I, I, when I moved out to Florida, he's one of the first people I connected with and understood, you know, as far as who in the scene is fire and who's not and whatnot. Um, Spiff, I only heard one time ever. And after that, just that three day prep 
one round thing, like it, it just clicked in my like this dude's fire, bro. I can't wait to see what this man can do with full preparation. And yeah, just facts. Kyle, I can't think of a better fucking opponent to start it with, man. I really can't. Yeah, as far as league league adaptation, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, I'm I don't live in Port St. Lucie, but I'm hella familiar with the area. Like this is the first time there's been a battle near yeah. where I live. And Port St. Lucie is not savvy to battle rap. It's like not a thing. Nah. You know what I mean? Nah, nah. So to bring that culture to them and see what how they react and respond, it's exciting to me to see because it'll branch out even further. You know what I mean? Because Port St. Lucie is one of those towns that's like, I don't know, hip, like mid-class, you know, you got your families and whatnot, but it's also like, yo, we need something to do, son. You know? It's so a- it's like people are looking for something new and something to grab a hold of. And I know a few people out there as far as, you know, they do uh, all types of work as far as videos, music, graphic design, and things like that. So to get a ball rolling in that direction, it's kind of it's kind of cool to watch it happen. Yeah, man, you know it's cool because it's a small, tight knit area out here, and like you were just saying, it's it's very hard to find something fun to do out in this place. So they starting to bring different entertainment venues out here. Like they started bringing wrestling out here. They started bringing, you know, different shit that they would never normally do because they can't do it in their own state with COVID. But like I feel like. Treasure Coast has never, ever felt battle rap before. As far as I know, I've never seen it. I've not seen a flyer, nothing. I want to bring something new out here. And we're, we're really making, like, we're making waves, like, in the Florida scene, too, because now we're making we're making Florida that much stronger of a battle rap realm. Like, like you have Takeoff and Bare Arms doing their thing, I believe, in Tampa and all these other places around there. Like, it feels like, like we're the first one at this at this area, right? Listen, man, I I I just gotta give myself a little pat on the back because I like to think that me being a fire battle rapper going into these fucking leagues in Florida, killing shit, is bringing a little more of attention to bars. Uh, so it, it's oh, actually definitely. really fucking dope. a lot of good connections with people in Florida since I started battling out here again, man. It feels so fucking good. Yeah, it yeah. and it's a great feeling too because I hit up. I hit up Rose and I hit up Lou and like like I I, I went straight up to him. I was like, yo, I know I realize that you guys have been doing Florida stuff. Like this is your home. You know, we're trying to do this card. You know, I really appreciate your blessings. And they they welcome them with us with open arms. So salute to those guys over at Takeoff and Bear Arms and all those other leagues out there because there is there is a lot of there's competition out there, but it's not like that, you know, in, in Florida, which I'm really happy about that. Because in other places you know, it's either one league or another. You know what I mean? And it's Florida's really taken off in battle rap, um, which leads me to my next question. This one's for conflicts. What's what up? were you thinking when you were putting this battle together? What made you want to match these two up? You know, it's it's like I said before, man. Um, I, I've known just Kyle for a while, and I know his style is very unorthodox. He's very sneaky with his punchline. Um, he's very witty. Somebody like Spiff, who had to go up against Billy the Genius, who I just battled in a classic, had a classic with somebody on three days' notice. You know what I mean? Like, in, in a venue he wasn't familiar with. I, I had to say, like, to me, he's witty as well, and I'd love to see what he can do on, on, on two months' prep. And I, I don't think that there could be a better matchup for him to start, uh, you know, over again than with just Kyle. So, Spiff, how many battles have you had in total? This will be my fourth one. Fourth battle, okay. And yeah, Kyle, battles, how- Oh, yeah. I battled Ryan Viafora. Like- oh, yeah, no, sorry. I'm, I'm just talking. Go ahead. No, you're good. You battled Viafora, and who else? I'm interested. <laughs> Philly, and then I battled Bone Card, and now this is my fourth one. Oh, oh shit, you God. battled Bone I did. He was just I lost. I lost. I forgot all my shit, but. I didn't like my shit anyway. I don't know. It's bad. Yeah, I lost. It got vaulted. So. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That, that was a while ago. It was. That's, it caught, that's it was the when, battle. Um, the- it was the event that Chef Trez battled uh, Gotti Luminati. That event. Oh, uh, don't worry. I lost. I lost. Uh, I lost that night too. Was that when you battled <laughs> two four two? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was. <laughs> How many battles you got under your belt, Kyle? Uh, I'm probably sitting around like 
almost 20. 20, right? Wow. Yeah, you just, about, about, just about 20. And I got, if I have to throw in the, the, the battles that I think are debatable just to add them as losses, I, I, got, I got three. So okay. I'm doing pretty well. Okay. Now, do you think that has anything to do with the what, what, what give you guys a little bit of an edge being a little, you know, one guy's a little bit more seasoned and the other guy's no, kind of a little bit no, lower? No, no, absolutely. Because I'll tell you why. I was in the same position as him, but like I, like I'm very aware, right? And uh, I learn from experiences whether they're good or bad. So when I battled Loco Lou, I was him, right? Mm. Loco was me. And everybody had Loco slotted to win. He was going to kill me and all this blah, 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 blah. But I even had a judge, and I won the battle. And that was my second battle. So with that, with that being said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna underestimate him and be like, yeah, I have an advantage because I have more experience. Because when it comes down to it, anybody can lose any time for any fucking reason. So yeah. like, one hundred percent. Yeah. So 100%. it's like, yeah. So I'm not taking anything from him due to experience. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's humble. So, uh, Spiff, as a, as a guy, uh, knowing that you're battling someone with 20 battles, do you think that's going to – like, do you think seasoning has anything to do with it? Um, Not necessarily. I mean, there's going to be advantages to it. But even though, you know, it's my fourth battle and I'm coming back, like, this isn't really something that I'm unfamiliar with or new to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been a student of the game as long as I've been alive and I've been going to battle rap events and – participating in them for you know all this time so i wouldn't say i'm coming in like you know wet behind the ears or nothing like that that's what's up yeah you know what that's a question i have for you man actually for both of you like uh where did you come up in hip-hop like did it always start with battle rap or did you start with music first where did you begin well i started with just man this is, i'll take you way back how i first got started my brother was a big hip hop head. He was in his room freestyling with his friends. And I like came in there for some reason. And uh, they were like battle each other. And uh, I was like, whatever that means. So we just started rhyming against each other. And I did really well for having zero experience. So that like ignited a uh, passion for me to write. So I've been rapping since I was like 15 doing music. And uh, the first battle I ever did it was like a battle uh there's no footage but i freestyle battled against mosh in orlando mosh so was, yeah and that was like mosh. in 08 so he was like the person to not really freestyle against if you don't really know what you're doing yeah so, no, i definitely i know i can tell you right now i know exactly what you mean <laughs> yeah so i did some music i took a break from the battling because honestly it hurt my feelings i don't really understand you know, how to take the loss or how to move forward from it or, like, the, even the culture as a whole, like, how it worked and whatnot. But uh, so I just stuck to making music, man. I've been making music for a long time. Not too much recently, but I got into battling seriously about 2015. So because I was like, I can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like, uh, what's that dude's name? Roan and fucking all the KOTD shit and URL shit, Smack DVD shit. And I'm like, I can do that shit. You know I mean? Did you start? Did you start out by watching Grind Time or KOTD or URL? Uh, I had some of the Smack DVDs, so I'm talking mm-hmm. way back. Um, Fight Club on MTV with like Jen, you know what I'm saying, and uh, shit like that. It's usually where I started uh, just catching the attention. And you know, Eight Mile came along and ruined everything because it gave bad <laughs> reference, like <laughs> a weird stigma, you know. But uh, yeah, watching that, and then uh, a little bit of the grind time, and then uh, then as the battle rap culture elevated, my uh, I uh, elevated what I watched as well, and started growing into the more uh, mainstream shit you are on cable TV. And as I got into it, twenty fifteen. I started realizing that it was just, it was more than URL and KOTD. And like, there's fucking leagues everywhere. And there's like this whole fucking battle rap world. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I just kind of latched onto that and been going with it ever since. Your story is kind of similar to mine, man. Um, when I was growing up, I went to an alternate school because I was a, I was a bad kid. 
and I got Bad thrown man. out of my own school. Um, oh, go ahead. So I was the only white kid in school, um, you know, among many, many, many people. And uh, one day they were just, you know, they were all sitting there fucking spitting bars back and forth to each other. And they're like, yo, white boy, you know how to spit bars? I was like, what the fuck are those? <laughs> you know, I didn't know shit about battle rap, none of that. They're just sitting there, you know, rapping to each other. And then uh, they said, okay, well, we want you to battle. I was like, well, I don't know shit about it. They're like, you're just, it's easy. Just write down a few lines, come down, and we'll meet that, you know, down here at 12 o'clock, and you're going to go up against this kid. And the whole fucking school surrounded us, right? Nice. The whole time, standing <laughs> shoulder, got up, spit my first line. The whole fucking crap went nuts. Over. That's it. I won. One line. And you know what's, you know what's crazy about that? That happens to me, you know, like back in the day at high school, say some shit. And then the moment you're like, that's excellent. But I bet if we like knew what we said, like that's the most horrible shit. It was so <laughs> trans- ever bro. Oh, man. Yeah. Yo, I yeah. go back and so- listen. Like, I battle online, just online. I haven't done any live shit. But I went back the other day and played some of the old shit from, like, 2015 that I had. I, I couldn't get through it. And I, I was like, damn, that's how it feels. Like, you can't you can't get through it. It's like, holy fuck, I was that bad back then, man. It's hilarious. What about you, Spiff? You make music? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, so I've always been into hip-hop as long as I can remember. Uh, my first two rap CDs were Ludacris, Word of Mouth, and DMX, and then there were X. So shout outs to X right now as he's yeah, going through it. That's up, bro. Yo, old. If yeah, anyone can make it through that shit, it's probably X. You know what I mean? I hope so. It's not looking good, but I hope so. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of just ignoring talking about it. Yeah. But if, if, if Odom can make it through, he, you know what I mean? They'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, and fuck then, it. so I remember. Sort of, go, so no. they just—I just got a notification say that the meeting will end in five minutes. I don't know why it's saying that, but whatever. Keep going, which you keep going, whatever. Whenever it ends, it ends. So yeah, well, where? Um, how'd you start? So that that, and I—I I tried writing from a young age too. I remember when I was in seventh grade, there was this kid in eighth grade that I fucking hated. <laughs> And I wrote a whole diss track about him and I like showed it to everybody in school and people were like, read the shit. And they'd be like, damn, like that's fucked up. Like, why do you hate this kid? Like, I didn't even know him. Like, you're fucking <laughs> hate him. But, you know, I, I started making music in high school with my with a couple of my boys and um, like they had a little bit of a buzz. I was pretty bad back then. Like I was good for being like a white suburban kid, but hmm. I didn't really start coming into my own until like, you know, five, six years ago. But it, it's been like a constant in my life for sure. I don't really make music anymore. And that's part of why I wanted to come back into battle rap because I wanted an outlet for all the shit that I got going on, all the, the rhymes that I got going on. And I was like, well, I'm not going to try to be a fucking rapper, so let me try to be a battle rapper. There you go. So we we down to our last five minutes. I don't know why the fuck Zoom's being gay like that, but it is what it is. Um, let's quickly uh let, let's get the fucking predictions out of the way for the card. Um, we'll go through them quickly. Obviously, we'll start with Spiff. Do you know much of these guys on the card? Have you been paying attention to the guys on the card? <clears throat> Probably not. I know, like I know who Nice is, but I don't really know anyone else besides Turnbull. Honestly. Okay. Okay. Um, Kyle, you know any of the guys out there on the card? Uh, I I know a, a couple of them. RK, Turnbull, nice. Oh, I know RK too. Yeah. Uh, um, quick. Uh, quick. Yeah, quick's my homie. Um, I met uh Ambi at the last event I rapped at last month. He seems like a cool dude. But as far as like rapping goes, I'm very unfamiliar with most of them. Okay. Okay. So that will. Well, we won't do the predictions then. Because who do you think that we, we could do the performance of the night? Since you know hey, some of the guys, who do you guys think is going to take home performance of the night? I'm, I don't know. I'm interested to really see what all the the louder people in the group do. That's yeah. where my focus is. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, oh. especially, you know, listen, I think, I don't know if I told him, but that dude Flip, like, <laughs> he's, he's too much. <laughs> So listen, 
I, I'm so, very focused on him, just specifically. And Gator, Gator, them two, them two cats. If they don't do well, I'm just gonna be like, hey, you should have spent less time doing it. Yabba yabba. I want, yabba. Yabba. I want, I want you to personally tell them after the event too. <laughs> Right. Oh, I will. Yeah, right after I hand him a pencil. <laughs> well, Gator's like, yo, I'm gonna freestyle it. I'm like, you fucking better not. I mean, you're a good freestyler, but you know, you better fucking bring the pen. I think he's just fucking nah, with us, though. He's just, he's just trolling, man. He, yeah. he like, he's been, he's been fucking with Fidel all week, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of editing tomorrow or tonight. And fucking like try to clip together like some of the shit they've been saying. It'll be hilarious putting it all together, man. I posted them in the fucking uh, on the page, bro. It's so funny. Yeah, so fucking funny. So yeah, we down to our last two minutes. Uh, Spiff, you know, anything you want to tell the people? Anything about yourself? You know, tell tell the people what you're they they're gonna see this Saturday. What up, people? Spiff here, <laughs> uh, repping Delaware. Um, you know, shout out the bars, Battle League. Right. You know, salute for the card. Yeah, Tune in for the live stream if you can't make it. Make it if you can. It's going to be a classic event, the whole thing. Um, me and Kyle's going to be a battle, as Flix would say. It's going to be a movie. Mm, and, sir. you know, yes, nah, just like, you know, I'm grateful for the, the chance here, and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. No, definitely. Happy to have you, man. And you're just another new uh, MC to the bar's eyes, man. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what you can do. I um, appreciate you coming out. Kyle, anything you want to tell the people? Uh, yeah, just come through Saturday night, whether it's digital or personal, you know what I'm saying? Be there or be square, as the kids say. But uh, yeah, come check us out. If you are uh, looking for some quality, quality writing, come check out me as fifth, because that's what that's what we're going to deliver. That's right. Yeah. Down to our last second, so a big salute. Yo, salute to the Bars fam. Cop of PPV. Fuck Zoom for cutting us, doing us dirty like this. Um, You know, say goodbye to the people, man. I'm out. Bars, bitch. Peace. Flick. That's the Flick. Get a movie. Peace.